What's up YouTube, Thrift Hunter here. We're gonna look at a little bit of some turquoise jewelry. I'm gonna try out my new setup here. This is a lot that I bought recently of just a big variety of different kind of turquoise and southwestern Mexico uh, jewelry. And this is really great stuff for resale. Obviously turquoise is very popular right now. Even these little tiny pieces can bring pretty good money. Uh, here is a little turquoise bracelet that uh, looks like it's probably a fake, you know, a faux turquoise. Uh, probably from Mexico, but still nice and probably a little bit more affordable than your regular Native American jewelry piece. Here's a nice long sterling bench bead necklace. A little bit lightweight. Has a dent on one of the beads there. But this would look really nice with like, you know, a big turquoise cross on it or something like that. Bunch of little pieces here of earrings. Here's a little turquoise ring. Um, this is a really cool little running horses brooch pin. This is a guy a walking a little donkey here. It's kind of cool stamped stamp piece. We've got our onyx earrings. We've got some concho earrings. We've got some hula hoop dancer earrings. Right there with turquoise, some little small turquoise studs like this. Still very popular. See, this is something that you could probably pick up pretty cheap, um, but this is something that's like very wearable, like something that definitely would be popular for someone to wear today, but would only cost you, you know, maybe a few dollars, and maybe you might be able to sell them for as much as fifteen to twenty dollars. Uh, shipped for free. Here is a little lapis ring, again very wearable, like little rings like this, bypass, turquoise and coral, very nice. Another small, this is more of a bell trading post type of ring here. We've got some mother of pearl clip earrings, another pair of turquoise earrings. Just all small little bits and pieces that add up. Pretty much all the pairs are here. There are a couple of singles, but again, something like this would be very, very popular. And you'd be surprised. This is the stuff that a lot of times can sell better than a really big pair of earrings because these are just very nice studs with nice turquoise in them. So there's a couple of pieces there. We can look at some more. I've got a box here with a nice little either, you know, obsidian or jet or onyx type of ring. There's another ring, turquoise coral, Native American ring. And I've thought about maybe doing some sort of a live auction with items like this. Um, so, so let me know if you guys would like something like that where I, where I sell uh, these kind of items through YouTube because I can also sell them on eBay pretty easily but you know maybe it'll save me a little bit of time with listing and also on fees and stuff like that so that you guys can save, I can save, um, be good for everybody. So here's some more earrings, little inlay earrings, we've got some liquid silver earrings, some Coco Pelli earrings, some nice long turquoise earrings there. Here is more earrings. Earrings, this is why I kind of bought this lot. Earrings do really well for me. Um, it's really hard to find nice pairs of earrings, especially at a decent price because if you go to like a trading post store or an antique shop, a lot of these are going to be in that kind of $30, $40 uh, per pair of earrings range. Um, here's a small turquoise pendant with the signature on there. And some more silver earrings, small pendants. There's a couple of cuff bracelets, and this is how they came to me, packaged like this, and I kind of don't want to take all of them out, but I can. 
just let me know in the comments what type of things I can do better for videos. Do you like this kind of top-down angle, or would you like something more, you know, facing a, a background? There's a liquid silver gold-plated sterling. Here is a, another cuff bracelet with malachite. All sterling. Here's one of those bear paw cuff bracelets. Very nice, something like this, you know, maybe $30, $40, $50, depending on how long you want to wait. I usually move them pretty fast. Another pair of malachite dangle earrings. Here is some kind of a southwestern, I guess, Haishi bead necklace sterling findings. There is a little dream catcher necklace with turquoise. A turquoise fetish bear necklace. There's a nice large sterling flower pin that I picked up. Just different stuff that kind of comes in larger lots that I like to buy when I see them. Anytime you see someone selling like a big collection of stuff for, you know, three, four hundred, five hundred bucks, you can a lot of the times buy them and part them out and uh, sell each individual piece. But it would be, you know, a lot of this stuff to list individually would take a long time for listings, which, uh, you know, I don't quite have that much time to list all of these things this would be great for somebody who sells at a flea market you know something like this you could sell that's very wearable but for me um, something that's just solid silver like that would probably just be scrap and I've just got loads and loads and loads and loads of this kind of stuff these Siam bracelets I see these like you know tons and tons and tons of those and uh, I see them at flea markets all the time, and, and I don't know. I guess some of this stuff is getting a little bit more popular because it's a little bit more affordable, um, this kind of stuff, versus some higher-end fine jewelry that I typically would buy because um, that's kind of more my market is doing uh, more gold, diamonds, big big pieces, and also watches. There's another stamped little cuff there. So moving on from the sterling jewelry, I'm gonna show a little bit of some fine jewelry. This is more typical of what I'm buying and selling right now. Uh, I, I mean, I buy everything, anything I can pro you know, possibly make a profit on. But I do like to buy some higher end items when I can just because uh, it's a lot less work for me to move, you know, 10 items versus moving, you know, 100 items or whatever as far as listings go. Um, so here's a 18 karat diamond baguette uh, heart pendant that I bought. Um, I bought this at an auction. And it was actually uh, described as 14 karat. So when I got it and it was 18 karat, I was pretty happy with that. And below that is this circle pin, which I have currently listed in my eBay store. And I have this listed, I forget exactly, either 800 or 900 dollars. And it is 14 karat white gold. It is about two carats of basically VS1, you know, near colorless or colorless diamonds. Very, very high quality. Uh, and I've had pretty much no luck selling this, even though I think it's one of the best pieces that I have right now. Um, it's definitely some of the highest quality diamonds that I've had in a while. If you can see, these are just pretty much perfect you know not super big but really nice piece this weighs about I don't know nine grams or something like that 
So not a ton of gold value, I guess. There is some, about $300. But most of the money here is in these really, really high quality diamonds. Really love this piece. You know, we'll see if you want it. Send me an offer on eBay and we'll see what we can do. Uh, here is a ring that I don't currently have listed. But this is about a half carat center. Kind of older diamond ring. Definitely a vintage. Nice marked 14 carat in there. It's all been tested. This is again is about a VS1 like super high quality diamond. And I already have two other diamond rings like this listed right now and I haven't had any luck. So I just haven't listed this one yet because really don't want it to let it go super cheap because the quality of the diamonds is very crazy on this and it's really really hard to show in a picture even in this video it's really not going to do the ring much justice as far as how much it sparkles and all that really nice nice quality something like this probably in the uh, about seven hundred dollars six hundred seven hundred dollar range for that i think the stone itself is worth at least five hundred dollars but Again, diamonds kind of hard to move right now for me. <clears throat> As you can see, I have quite a few diamond rings. This is a 0.75 carat, I believe, three quarter carat. This is also a little bit yellow. Nice diamond ring, really good sparkle to it. It's just a little, little yellow. Has a little bit of inclusions. It's not too crazy. I have this listed, I believe, at a thousand dollars, eleven hundred maybe, and a nice quality three quarter carat you know it's it's hard for me to really go too too much cheaper i definitely can make a deal for somebody if you're interested um but it is a nice size diamond a little bit bigger than what you typically find you know getting towards that carat sizing um and it has a nice design a little little outdated ring style but still nice and then i have a little 14 carat white and yellow gold opal bracelet with some opal like doublets in here that are probably backed with a uh, black backing you know it's a solid back this is like 13.8 grams so it's a real nice heavy high quality bracelet um, I have this in my eBay store I will probably end up scrapping this very shortly uh, unless someone makes me a good offer pretty much for uh, something like this I really need about scrap plus eBay fees um, is around what I need to get because otherwise I can just scrap this locally and I give you know whoever I'm selling to a little bit of a percentage uh, for them to make a little bit of money and so you know selling this on eBay would basically just add a lot more work for you know very little extra so definitely I think I have this in my store for about 650 if you're interested check it out and yeah, that's going to be the video for today, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. I've got a lot more to show, a lot more ideas of what I want to do. Uh, I want to potentially open up a buying service on eBay if you guys have some gold to sell. Obviously, eBay fees are going up to, for jewelry, uh, going up to 15% plus shipping, which comes out to about 17, 17.5%. Uh, so maybe we can start working some deals with some subscribers. If you haven't already, please hit the thumbs up button, like the video, subscribe to my channel, and hopefully we will see each other again soon. Thank you.